Hello there, my name is Jeff, and today I want to talk about how to create your perfect morning routine. So, whenever I get a client that asks me to help, them co help coach them on waking up early, I ask, well, first, what's your motivation for waking up early? Why do you want to do this? But also, what's your ideal, perfect morning ritual look like? How do you envision starting your day? Just get into fantasy. Like, when I first imagined becoming an early riser, the thoughts were pretty romantic. It was, I pictured myself sipping coffee, sitting out, watching the sunrise, breathing, doing yoga, meditating, um, writing in my journal about how great my life was, <laughs> or how great, um, you know, all the things that I was doing were, you know. That was my, per my ideal fantasy. Doing it, on the other hand, was another story, but when we are allowed to fantasize our, about a perfect morning ritual, then we can start to build inspiration for creating it. Creating it's another matter, but we have to know what we want to create first. So think about yourself. What is it that you really, really want in life? Maybe meditation and yoga and all that stuff isn't really what you want, but you want love, you want change, you want quality time with yourself. So what is quality time? For you look like. That's the reason why we wake up early. Um, that's the reason why I wake up early, I should say. I know some people want to wake up early so they can be more productive or get more done in their day, and that is fine, but the wake, wake up to your path of self-discovery and self-mastery is carving out that precious me time. And so when you, when you have your precious me time, what does that look like? You know, doing things you enjoy that bring you love, reading books that inspire you, Finally making time to read. Finally making time to to write. Write, your, write in your blog. Write stories. And finally making time to reach out to family and friends that you always wanted to. Maintaining relationships. Building new relationships. Um, yeah, so I have this morning routine quick start guide. Check that out because that's kind of a breakdown to help you develop your ideal morning routine. And that, that by itself is gonna help you real fast. Like, start your, set your alarm two hours earlier, what are you gonna do for those two hours? So the basics of how you assemble what your ideal morning routine is a lot like blocking out, okay, I wake up at 7 a.m. and at 7.05, I get in the bathroom, I brush my teeth, I take a shower, and that takes 20 minutes. So at 7.25, I get out of the shower, I go brew my coffee, I um, sit down at my laptop and start typing in my journal. And that takes me about 15 minutes, and then, or I'll eat my breakfast at the same time. After I write my journal, hmm, I, maybe I'll watch a show that I've been looking forward to doing. Um, so that'll take me a half an hour, maybe an hour, depends on how long the show is. After that, um, 8:30 or whatever time it happens to be, I will go out and exercise. And, and keep in mind, I'm just I'm just talking about this off the top of my head. This isn't my exact routine, and who knows if that would be the right order. I might want to switch waking up watching a show first, then going into workout. It's up to you to mix it up. Um, think about it. And I use an app called Seconds, and I used an app called AM Routine. Those were um, on my iPhone, and it helped me block out. You add in the activity you want to do and how long you want to do it for. And then you press play on it, essentially, and it will just cycle through. It'll be like, oh, look, it looks like I'm on meditation right now. Okay. It'll, like, alert me when it's time to go on to my next habit. That was a great training wheels for me when I started. And um, yeah, that helped keep me on track. That was a huge uh, trick for me. I don't do that anymore, but it worked a lot when I started. And then also, um, a cool thing that I thought of for this year was giving each day a focus. And that meant um, Monday, I focused on my bucket list. How can I make progress towards things I've always wanted to do in my life? Is there anything I need to do today? Or can I take a step today? Maybe I need to book a trip, book a hotel, look at flights, research um, the topic I'm interested in. For example, once I started doing this, the thing I'm, I had a list of things I wanted to do, and one of the things that felt attainable was to sleep in a treehouse. I also wanted to go on a meditation retreat this year, or sometime. So I was like, you know, I can combine those two, and then what is the one thing I can do today on Monday to make progress towards my bucket list goals. 
well, maybe I just need to research tree houses. Are there any, even any in my area? Tree houses in Ohio. Oh, looks like there's some here. And then I, you know, I kept moving forward. And then the next Monday, what do I got to do? Well, I've been still thinking about it, but you know what? I've been thinking about it for weeks now. Maybe I just need to book the damn thing. So then I booked it in advance and it was like done. And it's like, when am I ever giving myself time to do those things? So it's like perfect to do it in the morning during your perfect ideal morning routine. And say Tuesday, I want to focus on, um, that's my exercise day. I'm going to really exercise a lot that day or go to the gym every Tuesday. And Wednesday, I want to practice astral projection and I'm going to wake up early in the middle of the night and meditate and, and try to do my astral projection um, routine. Thursday, I want to have, I want to watch a movie on Thursdays or something like that. Fridays, it's a fun Friday. What can I do? I gotta, if I just had to do something for fun, what would it do? giving myself permission to have fun. So that's how you create this thing, your perfect routine. And uh, well, the problem that comes up is, is after you do it for a long time, it becomes routine, which sometimes becomes a rut. And that's when you have to shake things up and constantly reevaluate what makes you happy. What's gonna fulfill you? What are you really looking for? What do you wanna do or what do you wanna create? And change it up all the time. And keep a little document of like, what your routine looks like. Print it out, put your motivation up on the wall or something like that. I've not done that, but I think I've always hear recommendations for that. So that's it. That's how you create the perfect morning routine. And keep it simple. Um, use those apps to help you and sh shake it up often. That's my advice and I'll see you in the next video.